happy early, early morning, y'all. Okay, so had a ton on my mind all night and didn't get a lot of sleep. So um, it was 2.30 in the morning and I decided to go ahead and get in the shower and make a pot of coffee. Um, artistic brains, I know y'all feel me. Don't sleep well at night um, until I can kind of like get things out of my head. So I decided to go ahead and um, do a live. Anyway, so this is kind of like therapy for me. Some people write, some people read, some people whatever. Um, I like makeup and doing this stuff. It soothes me and it's sort of therapeutic. So, um, you know, a lot going on in life and not getting a lot of rest. So uh, we're going to do some makeup. We're going to do a sugar skull um, with some crystals that I bought. And instead of it being like all dark and creepy, we're going to be doing it all very bright and colorful. So I have these little crystals that I bought. Um, we're going to be applying those with eyelash glue. Hi, y'all. Hey, there's early morning people. Hi. So I got up at 2.30. I got in the shower. Um, just unable to sleep. My mind is restless. Hi, Sally Ann. Hi. So um, I made a pot of coffee and... Uh, we're drinking a vat of coffee and we're gonna do makeup. Why not, right? I couldn't sleep, crawled out of bed. Why not? So, guys, I've never done a sugar skull before. It's kind of the first of the first. Um, hey, Justin. So, um, be nice because I don't really know a lot of what I'm doing. So, I don't have a reference picture because, like I said, I don't have Wi Fi. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome, Sally Ann. I couldn't sleep, so um, I went ahead and got up, and here we are. So, um, hi, Vanessa. Hi. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of prep. So, I've already prepped my skin. I already did my um, my moisturizer and everything, my all of my Lime Life stuff. So, I am hi, Teresa. Um so a whirlwind of things happening in my brain, guys, life is kind of crazy right now. And so, um, you know, being unable to rest, I decided to just get up and do makeup. So we're going to do this. I am going to pull this section of my hair out of the way because um, this is going to be very, da, da, da. it's like full face makeup here. So um, we're going to pull this section up and I'm just going to pull it out of the way and we're going to put it in. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you. You're so sweet, Sally. Okay, so my face is prepped. Um, I did already do my moisturizer and I put some prep on my face. Um, I'm going to be doing this all with Lime Life products instead of my Halloween products. So um, we are going to try to do this. I need to create a line of symmetry directly down the middle of our face. So, um, you know, nobody's face is really exact. And so we kind of have to alter that to our liking to where everything fits. So what I'm going to be doing is actually going in with a toffee colored um, pen, pencil, makeup pencil. And I'm going to try to create that line of symmetry just very, very light using a rat tail comb. So just through the middle of my nose to the point of the center of my, my head. And so this is going to sort of just help us keep that line of symmetry as we create here. So it doesn't have to be super dark. This is just going to sort of give me a line to go by. It doesn't have to be perfect. This obviously is going to come straight down. That's not hard. So that, that went kind of crooked. But anyway, you get the idea. This is... Um, because everything is very symmetrical in this. And so I just want to kind of get that half and half to where when I'm creating lines, I have a point to start from to create my designs. So that will work. Um, you can do that with anything. I just did it with a toffee colored pen, pencil, space pencil. Um, okay, so what we're going to be using to do this is my Lime Life Lottie Dazzle Palette, which is all of these super bright colors because a lot of these colors match my crystals that I'm going to be using. So we're going to be using a lot of these. Um, remember, using your setting spray is going to be able to give you two or three different colors out of each pan of color here. So when you put it on dry, you get one color. You use it with setting spray, you get another color, and you can keep deepening that color. So you can really get multiple colors out of one color out of these pans. So 
here goes nothing, y'all. I do have my set of um, Lime Life brushes behind me, and I also have a set of like artistic paint brushes. These are all just different sizes and shapes, and just kind of helps you create different lines. So I might go in and touch up the last bit of this at the very end with some actual professional face paint, but for the most part, we're gonna try to do all of this with just Lime Life products. So um, I did already prep and prime, so here goes nothing. Um, I sketched out a little picture just to kind of give me an idea of where I'm supposed to start with this. So um, my base coloring is going to be white, and so I'm gonna go in with my buffer brush. Um, I lied. I lied. It's early and I'm tired and I lied. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my blender full and we're gonna go into my olive tooth foundation and I'm gonna go ahead and just blank out my canvas. So by doing that, I just take, and it's not gonna need to be all over because my colors are gonna go over a lot of this, but just gonna take some of that discoloration out of my skin. So we're just gonna prep all of our skin here with my olive two lime life foundation. The coverage in this stuff is fantastic. This is the stuff I use on a daily basis. Um, you guys are gonna see half and half here in just a second of how amazing this foundation is. Um, it is paraben free and non-toxic because it is Lime Life and so I do love that as well. Um, you know, trying to eliminate parabens out of our lives. It is, parabens are not good. They're fertilizer guys for cancer cells. You don't want to put parabens on your face. So check your makeup. This is all botanical. Lime Life is awesome. I wear it every single day. Um, but you can see the difference in that coverage. Guys, that's fantastic, right? That's just one layer. So because it's professional grade makeup, you could just keep building if you wanted to um, and get really amazing coverage. It's super lightweight. It doesn't enter my pores. It doesn't crease in your fine lines and wrinkles. It's fantastic. Um, but because I'm doing this look, I'm gonna go ahead and put this all over. Teresa, I miss your face. Oh my gosh, I miss you, girl. What I would give right now to sit down and have a cup of coffee with you. You want to drive to Clyde? All right. So we're just, and like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. We don't want to interrupt that line. Um, we're going to be covering this with a lot of colored pigment. Anyway, I don't expect a lot of people to be on watching right now. So if you guys are catching a replay, make sure you hashtag replay. If you're not following my videos, remember just click on my nose and click the follow button. Then you'll get alerts when I go live. All right, so here we go. Hi, y'all. Hey, Deanne. Hi. Okay, so there's that. Now, guys, my rough sketch looks like a kindergartner drew it. <laughs> Seriously. It's, it's amazing to me how I can do things on a face on skin, but I can't draw for crap. <laughs> there's my sketch. So this is what I'm going by. Um... And we're going to be mixing a bunch of very bright colors together to kind of achieve this. I don't expect this to be a fast video. So um, if you guys need to get a cup of coffee, get a cup of coffee. It's uh, probably going to take a minute. I was going to do a hair tutorial and a makeup video, and I figured this is going to take long enough. So, all right. So we have our base on. I'm going to go in with that buffer brush, and I'm going to go into our number zero waterproof concealer. This is very, very light. Normally, you guys see me use this as highlight under my eyes. And in my highlight zones down the bridge of my nose, um, this is actually going to be going in a lot more places than that right now because this is going to be the base for my look. So I am going to be putting a web right here. So I don't need to cover in this area, but we're just going to go into where like where I assume that bone structure is really going to be. And then we can brighten that up with a lot of um, really light powder. So I'm gonna be putting this basically where I know my dark is not going to be. And we're gonna brighten all of this up. So this won't look super theatrical. It's actually gonna look fairly, huh, I guess, normal. Um, because everything's gonna be used with just regular makeup instead of professional grade pigments in like a professional face paint palette. So, um, and like I said, a lot of this is gonna be covered up with really bright coloring. So I'm not too worried about most of this. We're just going to get the basis down for our white. So this is our waterproof concealer. Really, one really good thing about using Lime Life products um, on your Halloween looks is that A, it's non-toxic, um, and B, you're going to have some serious staying power. 
no matter what the weather is outside or if you're dancing or whatever, you know, for your Halloween parties or whatever you're doing, walking around outside trick-or-treating, um, the weather is not going to affect your makeup. So once I put all this on and this waterproof concealer and my foundation, and then I put my setting spray over all of my colors. Hi, Samantha. Hi. Good morning, pretty girl. Um, it's not going to interrupt anything. So like I said, that web is going to be going right here. So I'm not too worried about covering any of that up. The kids are going to wake up and be like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, you know, just doing some makeup in the morning with my cup of coffee. Okay, so concealer sort of on. That gives us the basis for sort of the white part of our skull. I know it's going to be a slow build, but stick with me. It'll look good, I promise. Hey, Robert. Um, oh, Samantha. Sort of why I'm up early and not sleeping. Um, I will personally message you, I promise, when I get a chance to stop. Um, everybody's been so gracious and asking about me, and I love that. And I feel really bad because I haven't been able to get back to everyone. Um, but yesterday did not go well. Um, so we are doing another, I have to take it another plan in order. But I will personally message you. It's just, you know, it's a yucky time of life, and it's really hard. So... A lot of crying yesterday there was a lot of emotional baggage um but this is my happy place so i sit in front of the camera do my makeup and this is like therapy so um we're gonna make the best of it so we're gonna start by building um coloring around my eyes um samantha you have no idea i'm not gonna cry right now you're gonna make me cry but um you have no idea how much that means to me because i don't think i've ever been in a position like i am right now where things are just Whirlwind of life. Um, life is hard right now. So we're going to go in and I'm going to be doing um, orange towards the inside. And then I'm going to morph that into like a green here. And then pink on the outside. So this very colorful sugar skull. Um, it's not going to be very dark and creepy. So I'm using my Lime Life palette. So this orange here, this green here, and this darker pink here. So instead of using, no, 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 you're good. I love you. Thank you. Um, this is like where you do your really dark skeleton shading instead of using black I'm gonna be using this dark magenta color here so it's not gonna look as deep set as if I was to go in like when I did jewelry skull or the other skull I did the other day and that shading and definition is used with like a black color and you get that very very sunken look I'm gonna try to do this with like a darker pink instead of black so hi guys all right, so I'm going to start with um, that orange and just start building that base for my the sugar skull eye. So where that comes is from like the inside of your nose here, and it's going to come up and cover your eyebrow, and then it's going to come down into a point here. So keeping those symmetrical is also going to be a little bit hard. Um, symmetry for me as an abstract-minded artist is pretty difficult, so we're going to see if I can make that happen. So this orange is going to be my entire inside color. I'm going to angle, sorry y'all. Oh, my Ricky, man, my Ricky mirror stand. Guys, if y'all don't have a Ricky mirror and y'all do your makeup, you need a Ricky mirror. Um, and I have an iPad stand that I put it on. So, I'm, but I need to angle y'all up just a tad so I can see behind me into that Ricky mirror while I do this. Just hold tight for a second. I just want to stay above the comments because I know that's complicated too. <sighs> that did not work. Good heavens. Sorry, y'all. Stay with me. Stay with me. Okay, because I need to see. I need to see back there in that mirror. It's hard to kind of see when I get up close to what's happening here if I can't see behind you guys actually into my mirror. All right, so we're going to start building that orange. Tap off your excess. Remember, all of these Lime Life products are 50% pigment, so this is going to be a lot of pigment color. Um, and I'm just going to be circling basically around my lash line with this orange. Um, and we're going to go in and add crystals on when we're finished. But this is, I'm using a really, really fluffy blender brush um, because I'm going to want these colors to really mix together and blend. I don't want harsh lines. So we're going to start with this orange. And the more you build, the more true to palette color you're going to get. So right now I'm going to look like I got in a fight. 
And then we'll do setting spray and cover those a little bit. So just go all the way around your eye. Morning, Jen. Hi, sweet girl. Why are you up so early? I couldn't sleep, so I decided to do a video. Because <laughs> I'm a crazy person. I put on a pot of coffee. I called my aunt, who is like my best friend. She lives in Arkansas, and she's she is my rock, y'all. And um, ever since my mom passed away, she's kind of my mom. She was my mom's sister, so she's gonna. She sort of just stepped in and became my second mommy. So um, I called her and kind of divulged my day on her and spoke with her for a little while. And then she decided to eat dinner because she eats dinner at like one o'clock in the morning all the time, which is weird to me. But um, she decided to do that. And so I decided, well, I had some free time and I was up and I can't get to sleep and I haven't been to bed at all. So um, my brain is a thousand different directions. All right, so here's the orange. Right now I sort of look like I'm becoming Beetlejuice. Um, but there's, that would be a fun makeup video. But uh, there's the orange in place. So I'm doing my Lottie palette, right? So that was this orange color here. I'm gonna go into this green. That's gonna be my next color. I am going to apply that with a different brush and then I'm gonna shade it out and blend because I don't want them completely blending together. So I'm gonna go in with my all time favorite whale brush and we're gonna apply that green in a line directly on the outside of that orange. And I'm just gonna sort of pat it into place instead of rubbing. So remember when you pat, you directly place pigment. When you rub, it's gonna be more of a blend. So I'm gonna direct place this first and then I'll go in and blend in the edges. Dun, dun, dun. What's everybody doing this morning? Um, there's more people on than I thought. So we're going to be doing three colors on this part. Gosh, I really look like I'm making a zombie instead of a skull, y'all. So I'm going to go in and remember, with these professional-grade pigmented colors, um, these eyeshadows are incredible. That pigment is really amazing. So the more you build, um, the brighter, more true-to-palette color you're going to get. And so I'm just doing a couple layers of direct placement of that pigment all the way around this. I did. Um, I did my foundation and then I went in and just like the skull bone areas, because a lot of this is going to be covered anyway, Jen, um, I went in and just did concealer in all of those. Um, concealer Zero, our lightest one. I went in and put that with my buffer brush just sort of in where like my bone structure area would be. Um, and then I'm just going in and creating all of this colorful part with my eyeshadows. So. Oh, Samantha, you're such a sweet girl. Enjoy your quiet time with Jesus. I had quiet time with Jesus on my back patio a little bit ago as well. All right, so I'm going in with this pink color here and tapping off my extra, and I'm going to start placing that pink just on the outside of this. So my colors are going to blend orange, green, pink, and that's going to create that shape for my eyes. And then we can go back in and blend the edges of these with a dry brush that does not have pigment on it. So you're sort of using your eyebrows as a frame because that's going to help you kind of stay symmetrical too. And if we do this right, which I've never done this before, but if we do this right, all of this will come out. Both of these eyes will come out symmetrical in the same shape. I don't know if that's going to happen. So I'm looking behind in my Reiki mirror just to sort of make sure that I drop that pink down at the same level as this other one. I'll try to keep everything symmetrical here. So we're just mapping out the base colors at first. So whenever you're doing looks like this, just go through, map out your base coloring, which is just sort of like sketching, um, using your colors. And then you can always go in and deepen what you want and line out what you want and add your fine details after 
So I'm just going to be getting sort of like the basis for what this is going to look like. Um, and then we'll go back in and add our details and stuff in later. So remember, I also made this line with just a simple like nude toffee colored lip liner. So that's going to be, it's going to make it really easy. Hi, Jake. It's going to make it really easy to go in and um, blend this in. Once I get my linings out, my symmetrical lines, I can go in and blend this out and cover it with pigment. And that's not going to show, but that really helps keep everything symmetrical kind of while we're creating. So, um... I am going to go in and there's going to be a web that runs right here from basically like the outside of where like your temple, like your skeleton bones would be. Um, from that skeletal bone in, we're going to create a web right there. That web is going to be blue. The bottom portion of my face is going to be blue. And this shading here will be pink, this darkish pink here. We're going to make that really, really dark and shade all that in with dimension. So, um... I'm going to go in and add just a little bit of brown bronzer into that shaded area and map out that, that sunken area here where that skeletal bone would be like really sunken and deep. So that I'm also going to go in with my buffer brush and that's I'm going to be using this pink to go in here because everything's going to be colorful. We're going to try to avoid any major like browns and black colors. Everything should be really colorful. So there's shading there. There's also going to be some shading happening and I'm using just the very tip of this contour brush. And we're gonna be going in from where I create my teeth here. From that line out underneath this is also going to be very dark. So I'm gonna map that into that contour. And that whole section there will be shaded pink. And it'll just fade. So same thing on the other side. Keeping everything sort of symmetrical. Hi, y'all. Who gets up this early and creates weird looks on their face? I guess I do. All right, so I'm going to go in. And I'm actually going to create that webbing line. So I'm going to use that um, toffee pencil again. And I'm going to go in from like my bone structure here. And place this comb here and we are going to map out a line to the center and then using that same comb with that same idea I'm gonna look behind you guys that's too hard and if we're lucky those will be semi yeah it's pretty symmetrical it works for me we can always straighten things up or add more to sides if we need to as we go here. So I can eliminate this line here. And we're going to color, cover all of this in this blue pigment. And remember, everything's going to be outlined. So as long as we get it a general, general shaping, then we'll be good. So to do that, I'm going to be using a more stiff blending brush. And I'm going to be applying this Kyoto Blue um, to this entire area. So up into your hairline even. Dun, dun, dun. Jennifer, what do you do this early? So we're just mapping out that this is going to be a web. So I'm just mapping out that shading, the background shading. And so this is going to be another place where we're going to be adding a lot of um, detail. And so I'm just going to map out that general coloring here. Like so. Then I'm going to go back in. It's going to be a long video, y'all. Y'all just buckle up. So along this symmetrical line at the bottom, we're going to be creating a little design right here. I can't talk to y'all while I do this. It's 
pretty symmetrical. All right, so we're gonna go in and put that blue down here as well. Um, we're doing a really colorful sugar skull. So right now, we're just sort of basing out our design. It will look good when I'm finished, I promise. So just using that brush, I'm going in and adding that detailing into those curves. <laughs> It'll look good, I swear. And remember, we're gonna outline all of this. So if you get a little bit outside those lines, it's not, not the be all end all of it. I might actually go in and add black as my detail lines just to sort of make everything pop but not color anything black. Normally, if I did a skull, you know, this would all be shaded black and my nose shading would be black, but we're trying to keep it all very colorful. But my nose section here that I create will be black, um, but everything else will be colorful. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in with this and we are going to create that sort of nose that you create on skeletons, the decay look. So you have that sort of like bigger side and a smaller side that covers your entire nose. Um, so I always just start at my center line and then create one larger section. And then this one will come down and be a shorter section. And then of course we'll fill in our entire nose with black. But that gives you like that basic kind of decayed like so. Um, that will be black, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in um, and shade that with black eyeshadow. So this here is my 18 Well Lime Life palette. Um, it is obviously the same company that I use um, as these bright colors. This all comes from the same professional makeup company. So this is, um, thank you. So I'm gonna go in and add with a lip brush, I'm gonna go in and add that black And we'll deepen it up later, but as we start kind of seeing the main sketch coming along, it'll make a lot more sense. And then we'll go in and add our fine line details and stuff in just a little bit. So just cover that in black. And this is just, guys, this pigment is insane. Your husband leaves for work at 4.30, oh my. That is early. What time do you leave for school, Jen? <laughs> Go lay down. Catch the replay later. Just hashtag replay me so that I know you are here. Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh, look at the best wife you are, Jen. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. That is awesome. Nobody makes my coffee and walks me outside or packs my lunch. Okay, so this is our basic, it's coming along. So our basic sketching is looking pretty much the way I wanted it to. Um, so now I'm gonna go in I need a very detailed brush, like a round brush, um, because you know sugar skulls have like those humps around here. And since I'm not using black to create those, we're gonna have to create those dots with our makeup and a brush. So the best way to do that is to find a brush that has a kind of stiff setting to it, so it's not gonna move a whole bunch, and it has kind of a rounded tip to it. So we're gonna use this. We're going to use our setting spray. I don't know where the lid is to my setting spray, but that doesn't surprise me. Um, I really need to spray this into something so that I'm not wasting a bunch of it in the air. And I don't know where my lid went. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a tin can. And we're gonna spray some of the setting spray in here. 
And that's what I'm going to use to dip my brush in. And then we're going to dip into that same pink color that we put around here. And I'm going to start creating those little, you know, sugar skull circles. And we are going to be using jewels to sort of accent all of this, so. We're actually splitting that line. And bringing those all the way around. And I haven't even dipped back in my setting spray yet. So, I mean, that's how far this stuff goes. Oh, good night. Good night. I hope you get more sleep than I have. I haven't even been to bed yet. You know. Rough day with the mind going crazy. So there's, it's kind of coming along, yeah? All right. So we're gonna try to be pretty symmetrical with these as well. So I'm just kind of referencing that other side and keeping things. Oh, hi Aunt Dink, I didn't even see you get on here. Hello. Yeah, it's been a rough night emotionally. So I couldn't sleep. Figure I'd come do some art therapy instead. The kiddos are going to wake up and I'm going to look like a crazy person. So I'm just using this other side as sort of a point of reference to start I'm gonna get into some of that, some more of that setting spray. You could so tell the difference in the vibrant part of that powder. So this and this is the same color. So this is using that Lottie Palette Pink without setting spray, and this is using it with setting spray. So you can see how that makes a huge difference. Out of the way, hairs. And we're just going to add those circles all the way around. Trying to remain pretty symmetrical with our spacing. Although once we get all these details on, you're not going to notice <laughs> if you have one extra hump in here for real. So I think that's pretty symmetrical. I feel like that's pretty even. So there's that. So I'm using my brush cleaner sponge and just cleaning my brush off. Um, this is just a color changing sponge. Just cleans the color out of that so that, well, I threw it on the floor, so that I can use it again if I need to. Good grief, that had to roll all the way to the other side of the floor. All right, so there's that. Now we're gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of other designs in here in either setting spray and powder or with my black eyeliner pen, I haven't decided yet. I'm probably doing black. But um, we'll have designs that go here. We're gonna do our teeth across here. Um, there will be some more designs that come in right here by my nose. Um, but I'm gonna start shading all of this um, with that same pink powder from right here. So I'm gonna be using my contour brush and we're gonna go right into that color. Remember guys, 50% pigment, so start light. And I'm going to start shading that pink in right here. So the darkest part of that pink is going to be at the top right here. And I'm using this big brush to do this first. Um, and then I'm going to go in and deepen it with a more precise brush. But we're going to start that shading here. And like I said, I don't have a reference picture to go by. So we're kind of just flying by the seat of our pants here. 
So using that pink. So what I've basically have done is I've traded out that black sunken look for like a dark pink. Sort of just in the essence of keeping this whole skull pretty colorful. <coughs> Man alive. I can tell when I miss my elderberry syrup. I didn't take any yesterday. It so helps with my allergies. All right, so I'm just deepening. And we're going to bring that over pretty far because we want that really high dimension sunken look. Guys, I might start wearing pink contour every day. Hmm, that's kind of fun. Just kidding. But I'm not scared. All right, so I'm going to blend that up just a tad. Like so. Um, and then I'm going to go in with a deeper set brush that moves less. And put another layer of that directly in the center of that. And that's going to help create an even deeper pink in that particular area. And that's going to help create that dimension right underneath that cheekbone. So we want it really sunken. So don't be afraid to get that pigment in there. Right here is where it's going to be super, super sunk in. So we want this section here be, to be really dark. Basically, you're just creating a hole with shadow right here. And then blending that into your contour line. Like that. Now I'm also going to have, once I get my teeth in place, we're going to be shadowing that in with pink as well. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the groundwork for that. Coming from that outer portion of my lip here. So just using that pink eyeshadow. And just keep blending until all of that blends together. There. So that's going to start creating that really blend. So we're going to go in and add our teeth in just a second. And then that'll start looking a little more. Remember, you can always go ahead and add detailing and shading whenever you want. Um, I'm going to start creating the lines for my teeth. So, directly in the center here. And just try to keep those as symmetrical as possible. I'm going to start the line for my teeth in the middle here and bring it down a bit. Like so. I'm going to go wake Jory up like this in a little while. <laughs> it's be like, what in the world? All right. So there's that. Um, this line here is actually going to go away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a very small brush and I'm going to go back into that waterproof concealer in that really, really light zero. And blend out and conceal that line. So you won't see it. Same thing with this line here. 
I'm going to go in, and since I used makeup for that line, this makes this really easy. It's like erasing, just like an eraser. So just be careful in between those spots where you've already done a little bit of detail work. And just erase that line. And just blend blend until it goes away like so all right so this line that's here I also want to erase that so we're gonna go in and use that concealer and try to keep that in a fairly straight line and just go right along the edge of that we are going to be mapping that out with a darker color so it doesn't have to be completely gone but just so you can kind of start getting the general look. And we'll map out the edges of that a whole lot better with the detail in just a minute. I will be using my black eyeliner to detail some of this. Just to make those colors really pop. So, but that kind of gives you like the general idea. Here we go. This may not take me quite as long as I thought it was going to. I was ready for like a two hour makeup video. Maybe not that long. Okay, so now we have to start mapping out teeth. And guys, teeth are a lot easier, I think, than people think they are. Um, what you really need to do is just find you a really flat, and I'm not using a makeup brush. I'm using like an art set brush. Um, it's going to be a very flat, very like thin brush with a very flat, with a very um, pointed tip on it. So this is going to help me create like the perfect teeth. So what you do is you put that tip um pointing up like the roots of the teeth. And so here we're gonna go in and do a color and a color and a color, and we're gonna create those teeth. Um, I don't know what color to do my teeth. I think I'll... I feel like in the idea of keeping them bright, should I do them orange or pink, dark pink? I'm trying to think of like the deepest, ooh, I could do them red. Let's do them red. We'll do red. Okay, so I'm going to go in with setting spray. This is going to be one of the really important parts, too. So I have a little bit of setting spray left in that lid. Well, that was really bright. Um, so we're going to sort of saturate that brush with setting spray. I'm going to go in to our, um, our blush. This is our number two brush blush called Excited, and it is a bright red. So that 50% pigment is going to give me plenty of pigment to do these teeth. So I just apply that pigment to that brush on the brush and then we're going to go in and you're just going to lay that flat guys we may end up having to do these black and you basically just stamp out those teeth but I think that's not going to be dark enough hmm Hmm, I think I'll go in and just do it on black. All right, so we're going to do that again. Like I said, it would probably really help if I had a reference picture, but I do not. Mm. You know what, though? When I shade that, that might be good enough. All right, so here's what I'm doing. I'm actually using that setting spray and that red. Mm. 
and then putting my radio star over it. So I'll show y'all that in just a second. And then we're gonna go in in between these and that's where we'll add our black. And it'll be really dark. So just make sure you're keeping that flat against your skin. And just map out those teeth. It's not hard. Now we're gonna make all those match in just a sec. Hang on. So on the bottom, you're gonna do the opposite. You're gonna face your brush the opposite direction and you're gonna go up. Okay, so I'm gonna use my other mirror. And where we, um, where we put those lines, those lines are mapped there um, so that you do your pigment in between them. So, like that. Setting spray, more red pigment. Hi, Kindle. <laughs> it's gonna be colorful. And so just press in and map out your teeth. Still working. Like so. Not too shabby. Okay, so now what I did on those front two, um, we're actually gonna go in and do to the rest of those. So we're gonna go in, I'm using my Radio Star, which is this like silvery dark gray. And I'm just putting some of that on top of those, just directly on top of that red pigment. And then when we go in and add our black shading in between those, it'll really make it look really deep set. I think that detail and dimension stage is one of the most amazing turnarounds. So just take a look at it and go back and add in whatever color you want to add, wherever you want to add it. I feel like that's pretty good. Um, not too shabby. All right, I'm going to go in with a super, super small detailed brush. This thing is teeny, teeny, tiny. I'm going to go in and I'm going to start adding a little bit of black in between those. And use very, I mean, I'm, I've got my black here, my eyeshadow, my Lime Life eyeshadow. And just be very careful with it. Back in with that concealer. I managed to get some red pigment. Out of place right there. 
All right, so we're gonna go in with that black and that little bitty fine brush. And I'm talking just like tap it into that section. Kind of at the very top point of all of those. Like that. And then we're going to go in and shade all of that. Blending, blending, blending. So we want that all really blended and shaded. We don't want anything super harsh. And then I'm gonna go in and we're gonna actually do our lips completely black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in This is our Candy Apple Enduring Lip Color. I'm gonna use that wand. And just add that pop of red. This fly buzzing around my face. Like Sue. All right, so I'm gonna go into my Lottie palette again into that pink color here and I'm just going to use my pinky and grab some of that pigment and start coloring in my lips all right I'm going to go in with a dry brush with no pigment on it at all. And super blend out the edges of that black. like so. Okay, so I want to go in and brighten up that orange on the inside of my eye. So I'm going to be using our Danessa Myricks Oh Snap blush here um, with this brush and I'm going to go in and add 
that super orange, super vibrant color in the center here. So basically where, our, where we put that Lottie palette orange to begin with, where we mapped out that basic orange color, I'm going in and adding this blush on top of that to kind of just make that orange really vibrant. And by putting that orange color on first, closest to my eye, it's gonna make my eyes look really blue. If I'd have started with a blue or a green, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have done that same effect. Okay. So, hi Bonnie, good morning, super early morning. All right, so that is really, really, really orange. Okay, cool. So um, I'm going in and just sort of blending out the edges of that so that those are really blended together. Blend that orange into that green. So this is where we start blending out and start doing our fine line detailing. And then we're gonna add our crystals on and this should look pretty awesome. So just using that dry brush with no pigment on it is how we just start blending all of that together. Um, jumping back into my Lottie palette, into that green, I'm gonna go in and add a level of setting spray and green. Um, to so just make that green super vibrant. It just sort of takes it up a notch. See the difference? Like, super bright. I don't know if that shows on camera as well as it does in person, but that is really bright now. like so, and then just blend that out. I'm gonna start blending that green against this pink. I'm just cleaning off my brush on a rag on my lap every once in a while um, to remove any pigment that's in there so that we can get a really good blend. Good morning, everybody. So we did the orange and we blended into the green, we did the green, we're blending into the pink, and then I'm gonna take that extra layer of pink off of my Lottie palette as well into this raspberry beret. If you wanna order that individually, it actually is a really pretty color when you're even not doing Halloween looks. And I'm going to blend the edges of that pink in just a tad all the way around. And then once we get like the real intense designs on, it'll all start coming together. So just blend that pink until you get a really soft blend. I've got messages coming in. I'm live, I can't answer you. I like how once I go live, people see I'm on and they're like, personal message, what are you doing? I'm busy, I'm on a live. So just blend that pink out as well. It's coming together y'all, I'm kind of excited. Okay, so there's that Lottie palette and another blending brush. Um, we are going to set all of this, or I would. I'm not going to, but I will tell you guys in the end, set it with setting spray and you'll have, you know, your complete look done. So what I'm going to be doing now, which is not, guys, I don't have the steadiest hand. Um, 
the fine line detail work. So this webbing up here is actually going to be done with black. So here goes nothing. All right. So I've got a little, actually, hang on a second. Hang on, hold the phone. Um, I'm going to go in with some setting spray on another circular brush and go into that Oh Snap orange that we use to brighten up the inside of this. And I'm going to put there's a large orange circle right there. And then that's where I'm going to pull my lines from. So I'm going to have to even those up just a tad. Oh, here we go. This is the scary part, y'all. This is the part I could really mess up. And if I mess this up, it's going to look really awful. Okay, so I went a little below this line on purpose because my lines weren't even. So I'm going to go in with that Kyoto blue and just sort of even up that line. Hi, Becky. Good morning. Just going to go in and fill in with blue right up next to that line. Like that. Hey, those lines came out pretty straight. I'm kind of proud of myself. All right, so there's one line that's going to come straight up the center. If I'm lucky, that will also be straight. <laughs> and then one line in between both of those. like that close enough okay and then your webbing starts here i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna do my webbing um shaded first and then go over that shading with the black pencil what that's going to do is that's going to allow um for some background shading and dimension so i'm going to take a pointy brush and we're going to go into hmm, what color i guess we'll go into this dark pink since that's sort of become our shading color and where those lines are going to be, I'm going to go in and just add that in pink first. And when we blend these two colors together, we're actually going to get kind of a purpley color. So we're just going to map out where the webbing is going to go. This one up here is going to be so far up into my hairline, it's sort of pointless. So I'm just going to sort of hold my hair still and just shade that in dark along that top edge. Fly. So you and I are going to have come to Jesus meeting. I don't know. This guy thinks he's my friend. He just keeps hanging out in here. So that pink, just right along there. I found out with Jory's Spider-Man look that webbing, as easy as that concept seems in my brain, actually was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. Because getting those lines really straight is super intimidating. All right, so I'm going to knock all of that pigment off of that brush, and I'm going to go in and just shade over those lines and really blend out any harshness because what I all I want that to do is be like a background shadow essentially so a lot of shading here and blending until those lines are soft hi y'all 
Say hello when you get on. Say hi. Let me know you're watching. So cleaning off that pigment when you're blending lines like this that you don't want to completely blend into one color, cleaning that off, that brush, in between every once in a while is really, really important. Otherwise, your brush is going to carry so much pigment that you're not going to be able to blend. You're going to end up with one solid color, which I don't want. I want this to remain very separated but blended. So just letting the tip of that brush blend everything. Hi. Hello. Creates just sort of that background. Kind of cool. Okay. So now we're going to go back in with our eyeliner pen and do the actual webbing lines on top of that shaded area. So... Fly, you better go away. <sighs> so annoying. Okay. So just continuing that webbing on top of that shadow. Like that. And then you can use those lines that you created as like the guidelines for your spacing. Just going over the center of those just a bit. Focus, camera, focus. Um, laying that brush a little more flat instead of the tip of the brush. And so that allows it to become a little bit thicker of a line. Like so. Hey girl, hey. Guys, I think my comments are like super delayed. Doing this on someone else is a lot easier because I, your own hand gets in the way of your vision line. Oh my gosh, what are you? Go away. Oh, hey, Bonnie, um, I bought some stuff to do a Maleficent look. So, but I'm going to have to make the horns. So as soon mm -hmm. as I do that, I'll be doing that video for you too. And we have webbing. It's 
So I'm gonna go in and make these inner lines a little thicker. There's the morning train, can y'all hear it? <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna thicken up those lines. Just a tad on those outer lines. So there, we have a web. Not too shabby. All right, so I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna outline this in black as well. Good morning, Rhonda. All right, super impossible to talk to you guys while I did that. All right, so there's that. Um, there won't be any extra shading down here, but I am gonna go in and add just a tad more of that blue. Actually, I am gonna go in and do that. Okay, so I'm gonna take some, just a tad bit of this pink that we used all over. and just create a little bit of shading here. Just to add a little bit of dimension down there, just to kind of even out, hey, my black thing fell down. Just to sort of even out all of that right there. All right, and now I'm gonna go in and start adding some of my other detailing. So I'm going to be adding, there's gonna be a jewel that sits on top of this, um, but right here, from sort of the center of that, guys, I'm using, where's that? Here we go, sorry, magnifying mirror. Comes with your Reiki when you buy one. I'm gonna use this and create this line. So I'm actually gonna be going up and then in like that so starting here sort of at this part point and going up and circling in like that so this is where like the sugar skullish type details are going to start coming in so I'm gonna do another one. So even on the shading is gonna stay exactly where it is. We're not using that as a line. We're gonna color right over it. So underneath right here, I'm just gonna draw a line straight from the center into the center of that. Just like that. And then we're going to bring another line in. And circle in. Like that. So bring another line in. And circle in like that. Hi, Pumpkin Patch. It's the middle of the night, Mommy. It's middle of the night. It's not even morning, Mommy. 
Baby, mommy's been up all night long. You want to come say hi? Huh? All right, so I'm just going to thicken up those lines a little bit. Do you want to give mommy a hug? I can get through there. I love you. Love you, too. Don't lay back down, sweet girl. So I'm just doing some fine detailing with this eyeliner pen. Man, that thing is super magnifying too. There ain't nobody that needs to see me up that close. Good heavens. So there. And we're going to be putting jewels inside those as well. Um, What else? Oh, here. I look funny, Samantha. So sort of just keeping an eye on that other side, kind of keep those semi-symmetrical. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. We're not finished yet, but we're getting there. Ava's like, it's middle of the night, mama. It's close. All right, so I am gonna be doing a little bit of eyeliner on my eyes just to sort of deepen those out. So right, just like you would do eyeliner. Um, all the way around. So never on a normal day, but for right now, for this look, we're going to be doing all the way around our eyes. Yeah, that's a pretty intense up close feeling. I don't know that I love all that. Okay, and we're gonna go in and black out our waterline as well in just a moment. So just get that eyeliner in place all the way around. And guys, if y'all don't have one of these eyeliner pens, you know, we sell these with, through Line Life. So um, one of the most amazing detail oriented um, of course, super inexpensive. They're only $18 and they last forever. So that felt tip really lets you get close. without messing up your pigment. Awesome, okay. It's coming along, I know I keep saying that. We're almost done, I promise. So there's this, and then I'm gonna go in and do my waterline. So I'm gonna take a very small brush, like a smudge brush almost, if I can find one of them. So they look like this. They're very, very short tipped, um, a little more stiff bristles, and they're kind of skinny on the side, and flat, and I'm gonna go into my black, as soon as I find it, into my black eyeshadow. So this one here. And we are going to put that along our lash line. I mean, along our water line. So in here.
And that's going to help really black all that out along our lash line. You can do your top waterline as well, but I'm not going to worry about all that right now. Um, dun, dun, dun. I think we're about ready to start adding jewels, y'all. Yeah? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a little bit of this black. There, and then I'm gonna go into that blue and do the same thing. Viola. Okay, I'm going to take, this is probably one of the only things I'm gonna use that's not Lime Life. Um, out of this Faux Buggles palette. Sorry, had to reach way over there to grab this. Um, there is some, if I can get it open. Um, so it comes with all of these professional face paint cakes, and then it comes with these containers of glitter. Um, I am gonna be putting crystals all over my face and some accent points before I take my picture. Um, so I'm gonna grab I don't know what color I want to do. Silver teeth? Sure, why not? We'll pop them out silver. So you're going to take this. It is loose, um, loose glitter. So what you want to do is just take like a pointed brush into a bowl of water, which I keep handy over here on the side um, for my face paint. So we're going to go into that and into this glitter. And you don't need your brush soaking wet, um, but you are gonna have to do quite a bit here. And we're gonna put that accent right along those teeth. I'm dropping glitter everywhere. So just lightly dust because remember we did all of this with eyeshadow and we haven't set it yet. So you don't want to just jump into knocking glitter off. You'll knock all your colors together. Little trick of the trade, the more wet your brush is, the less that glitter will fall. So. That's looking pretty good. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm gonna go in with some of this glitter and we're just gonna add some accents to some of this. Um, those are gonna be covered in crystals, but We'll just add some glitter around the outside of all of this. So it doesn't have to be exact. Remember you did wet that brush, so try not to mess with your pigment too much. Thanks, 
Jen. So we're just going to go around the outside of each one of these little humps with a little bit of this silver glitter just to add a little bit of extra oomph. So obviously the glitter is not Lime Life, but everything else on my face is. And then we're going to use our eyelash glue and add crystals and then we'll take our final picture and I'll go wash it all off so I can take my teenager to school and not embarrass the heck out of him okay so there's some silver I, when I did jewelry school the other day we went into town and we oh I've got to take a drink y'all oh no I need coffee through a straw I probably just ingested like two pounds of glitter when I did that whatevs um, we went to the mall and we ate with our faces looking all crazy and a little girl walked by and she was like, oh, Coco. She thought Jory looked like Coco. I was like, that's hilarious. Hi y'all. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. I swear we're getting there. I am going to put on lashes as well. So I guess I'll do, I'll do lashes last. Let's put these stones on first. So I have um, eyelash glue. I had some clear, I thought. Um, oh, we'll do white and clear. Okay, so we're going to take this on um, just the back of this little piece of cardboard. And I'm going to put this actually on here. No, I lied. I'm not. I'm going to apply this directly to my face. And then we're going to apply our crystals. So I have these little crystals that came in like this little set. So I sort of built my colorings around those colors. Um, so around the outside here, we're going to keep that kind of dark. So I'm going to try to grab enough of these pinks. Hopefully I have enough of them. So we're going to add the dots first. Because the dots of glue will start drying. And those will get tacky. Avely says, that's not nice. I'm like, no, the wrong tacky. Not that tacky. Like the sticky tacky. Whoa. Because I tell her, my goodness. I tell her all the time that uh, don't be tacky. And so she thinks that tacky is a bad word. We'll clean up that glue a little bit. Thankfully, that will dry clear, but I just globbed that right on my face. So I'm just cleaning up that dot a little bit with, <laughs> with a brush. <laughs> now it doesn't want to come out at all. Go figure. All right, so those little dots are starting to dry, so I'm going to hurry up and get some of these pink stones on there. And these are all in a line, so probably going to have to break them off from each other. So hard to put these. Okay, I'm going to see if I can do these with my tweezers instead. All right, here goes. So this might actually be what takes the longest because I've got to pick up each individual little stud and place them. It'll be worth it in the final look, I promise, but this is probably the most tedious point you guys do not want to watch this, I don't blame you. It would be easier if these were loose stones, but they're not. 
they're stuck to a piece of Hey, hey, looking kind of fancy. So they're actually stuck to a piece of like craft stuff, which is really inconvenient, but. So we're just gonna go through and grab one and pull it off and then place that where it goes and just keep moving. Hopefully we move fast enough before this glue dries. I may have to go back in and add a little bit more glue. I mean, these are semi-adhesive anyway, so maybe that adhesive on the back of these crystals plus the adhesive I have on my face will hold these for just long enough to get a picture. They seem to be staying pretty well though. Okay, so it makes me a little sad that I'm about to have to put all take all this off. The power just went out at the hospital. What? That's not good, right, Bonnie? That sounds really bad. <laughs> So I'm just pulling all of these little pink, they come in a line like this. I'm just pulling all of these apart. Oh, I dropped that one. No, come back. And just sticking them on in place. This is the part that takes a while. You think you should, I should drive them into school like this? Mom of the year, I feel like. I should be. It would embarrass him so bad. Well, I don't know that that's true. It might not. I mean, Jory is the kid that just went into Aveling with me like this the other day, so. Went into the big city looking all crazy. We got some really crazy looks at the mall, too. I mean, I had my Indian war paint look on, and he had his skull on, and we went into town. Because our water main broke here in Clyde, and we didn't have any water, so I had no way to wash it off my face, and we had errands that we had to run. So not knowing when the water was gonna come back on, I didn't wanna sit around here and wait. So we went ahead into town and ran errands. And while we were there, ate lunch in all of our Halloween paint. Then they set this like table of six elderly people next to us. Um, I just dropped that one too. Table of elderly people next to us and they, um, <laughs> Had like just gotten out of church and they're like, they were pretty sure they were like Protestant or something. And here we are sitting at the table next to them in crazy face paints. The guy was giving us some pretty crazy looks. Oh my gosh, these are really hard to grab. And like the longer I look at them, the harder it is to see them. It's going to look pretty awesome, guys, when we're finished. Thanks for hanging with me. Oh, the Spider-Man was good, Jen. So, um, yeah, in that rush the next morning of getting him ready for school, because um, we woke up late and I had to finish it all for him. And so we got in here and we finished it all up and we were like running to the car. Or he was going to be late for school. I forgot to take a picture in the middle of all the chaos. All of that work. It looked really awesome though. Um, he said his friends at school got some pictures and he was gonna get them to me. So we'll see if that happens. Oh gosh. Y'all, this is really hard to pick these things up. I'm not kidding. Um, but it did look really awesome. So he had his bald cap on. He made it all the way to sixth period of the day and they made him go wash it off. 
because they said it was against school conduct, school rule, the, whatever. They're not allowed to have face paint, apparently. I guess we just assumed that because it was, wow, that one just flew across the room. Because it was for a spirit day that it, you know, it wouldn't matter. But they did. They made him <laughs> take it off. I was like, well, then there's that. I don't even know why that app was running. An app that I don't even have live and open on my page is just like telling me it's not working anymore. Like, that's good because I wasn't trying to use it. So, um, Let's see. I have to undo these off of a... Here we go. I hope I have enough of the same size to go around the other side of my face. That's going to be unfortunate. But it was awesome. So he's decided he wants to do Venom for Halloween. So we looked up some pictures of that, and that's going to be pretty cool looking too. Hi, Paige. Yeah, I mean, I, it is homecoming week. I thought that it would be, you know... I thought it would be fine, but apparently I was wrong. Um, but he looked really awesome. It looked really cool. As soon as I get pictures of it, I'll post them. I just, I forgot in the middle of all the chaos that morning running late to grab a picture of it. And then as soon as I dropped him off, I was like kicking myself. All right, so there you can see up close. It's starting to come along, y'all. All right, so I'm going to do the same thing on this side with some glue. If it will come out, I don't want it to glob again. What is the deal with my eyelash glue? I mean, it will dry clear, so I guess it's not that big a deal. All right, y'all, we're getting there. And these crystals are not very heavy, so you don't really need a bunch of glue. It's coming along. Okay, Jen. Avely went back to bed. She woke up. She's like, Mom, it's middle of the night. It's not even morning yet. She went back to bed. All right, so I'm just breaking these little crystals off of this and then grabbing them with my tweezers. Because my nails are so long, there's absolutely zero way that I would ever get these in place with my fingers. So we're just going to use tweezers. And all the glue back behind these will dry clear. Are y'all sticking with me? Long video. This is the longest process of it all, y'all. This is the part that takes the longest. Grabbing each one of these little pink crystals is not fun. But when you get to the final finished look and all of this is blinging, it's going to look awesome. Hey guys. Hey Nicole. Say hi when y'all get on. Just sitting here in my lonesome in the house. Avery abandoned me and went back to bed. I have no idea what time it is. Does anybody know what time it is? Can't see the time on my phone. Guys, picking up these little bitty crystals is hard work. So I got to get it in between my fingers and then pick it up like perfectly straight. We're getting there. We are getting there.
I'm not used to it being this quiet. All right, so this tedious process. Sorry, y'all, this might be kind of boring, but this part is a necessity to achieving that final look. So we're, we'll get there. This is going to be the, the rest of the crystals won't take nearly this long. These are the hardest ones because there's so many of them. Ripping these crystals off of this sticky pad. I'm putting all of those in place all the way around. Again, I didn't count these out, so I hope I have enough of these to go all the way around. Oh, I dropped that one too. Oh no. I mean, it does not help that I keep dropping them on the ground. All right, so we're going to take off another round of those off of this pad. We're almost finished with these pink ones around my eye. This is the part that takes the absolute longest. So this is why when I do these looks for other people, this is why I say like accessories are an extra charge because this part, the face paint part actually doesn't take all that long and it comes super easy to me. But this part and adding individual lashes, those are like the most tedious processes. So that's why that part costs just a little bit extra. But it also sets the look extra. So to me, it's worth the time. If I'm going to spend an hour doing my makeup, I might as well spend another 10 minutes putting on crystals because it just makes the look that much better. But it is very tedious. And having to use these tweezers is complicated. But we're cruising now. Stay with me, y'all. Hey guys. Aunt Dink, you like the bling? You're a bling girl. Okay, so all of those pink ones are in place. Fantastic. All right, so now we have a couple of different ones on this page um, that we can use to put other spots. So I have a large orange one. These actually might stick without me having to use that glue. Possible. They're pretty sticky. They are pretty sticky. Okay. Um, they're like sticking to me all over the place here. So I have an orange one here. We're going to put that one right in the center there where those other ones went. And I don't know if my tweezers will help me here. My tweezers might be too small to actually do this. Viola, check that out. Fun and fancy. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little drop of glue um, at the inside of these. And we're going to add some crystals onto those. And those are just going to be white. And these are a little bit larger. So like I said, this does end up taking a little bit longer to put these crystals on but they make a huge difference in the end. So we're gonna do it. It 
So as that eyelash glue dries, um, you know, it gets tacky, so. Those will start sticking. I don't know why that's telling me that. It keeps interrupting my video, telling me that this app on my phone has stopped, but I'm not even using it. Weird. The matrix. Something is wrong in the matrix. Guys, getting these, like they all start looking the same. All right, so we're adding all of those in this area here. Hi, y'all. Close the app. Stop telling me. All right, so these silver ones are going on. I don't feel like it's as good as some of the ones I've seen online, but it's pretty good. If I were to use my white face paint, um, it would be a little more dramatic looking, but I wanted to do, I wanted to do a look with all Lime Life products. So that's what I did with this. Other than the glitter and the stones, everything on my face is Lime Life. So there's some of those silver ones. Um, I really might be driving jewelry to school like this by the time I finish this. All right, so I'm gonna put some of these silver ones on those edges. And remember, these, uh, the white glue will dry clear, so. Apparently, I need to remove that app from my phone because it just keeps sending me alerts for no reason. Getting there, y'all. We're getting there. We're getting there. And I'll put these silver ones directly beside that orange one. And if I'm lucky, they'll be even on both sides. So we're going to try to make those as even as possible. You go back up to your home. Getting there, y'all. Hi, Paula. Good morning, everybody. It's probably way too early to be staring at me like this. All right, so we've got all of those silver ones in place. Blinging, blinging, blinging. All right, um, so now I have some blue ones on here and there's not a ton of them. But I am going to be adding those into this area here where I've done that blue webbing. So I'm going to take these off the sheet. <laughs> My alarm's like, hey, get up. I'm like, yeah, been up since 2.30. All right. So um, I'm going to probably regret this tomorrow because I'm going to be really tired. So where all of this webbing comes together at all of these access points, we're going to be putting a drop of glue there. I know, time to get up. All right, so we're just going to be putting these where the web meets the big parts. That's going to be right in my hairline. That's going to feel good coming off of there. All right, so we do all of those dots on purpose so that 
some of them will kind of start setting while we go in and grab our jewels. So these are blue. Um, I'm probably gonna have a little bit of a harder time putting these on. They're really small. Um, so grabbing these with my tweezers. I'm getting a little faster at this. Those are gonna look really cool. So once I get all these on, I'll go in and add my eyelashes on. And we will be good to take our final picture. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with me, guys. If y'all missed the beginning and you're just getting on, you can go back and watch the replay on how I actually built the base of the look, the actual makeup, and our lines. And then we're just adding in final details now. It makes me sad when I spend all this time on a look that I really like and then I have to go back in and just go wash it all off. I have a facial coming in at 9 though, so <laughs> I have a facial and makeover Lime Life appointment at 9 a.m. Although I've known her for a really long time and go to church with her. She probably wouldn't care or be surprised if I answered the door like this, but um, I think I'll probably go ahead and take it all off. but it takes so long. Fly, go away. Get. Almost there, y'all. Hey, that looks pretty cool. I think as I'm building a look, it's like super tedious. Oh, I just threw that one. Dead gum it. It's super tedious, but, um, you know, when I got to cut, when I get close to the final product, I truly love it. All right, here we go. We're almost there. Ripping all of these crystals. Putting them all in place. I like that shading in that spider web though. That looks so cool. Less two-dimensional. I do like how sticky these crystals are, though, compared to the loose ones. I feel like they stick a lot better. Oh, I just threw that one on myself. All right, so there's some blue at the top. Orange, pink. Clear. I feel like we need to do something here, but I'm not going to cover. I would not covering all of that into the crystals. So we'll just do those access points. Come here, Crystal. Dead come. Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. All right, y'all, don't forget to share videos. Share, share, share. Um, I will be, can't talk to you guys and do this. 
Um, I will be starting at my YouTube channel here soon. Um, I did find a way to upload all of my videos from my mobile device to my YouTube channel. So I did create a YouTube channel a while back, but I haven't been using it because I'm not really, I'm not YouTube savvy. Um, but I got a little bit of assistance and now I sort of know a little bit more about what I'm doing. And I figured out how to upload all of my Facebook videos to, ooh guys, we are gonna be one short on the blue side. That's gonna be stinky. I'm probably gonna have to find that one I threw in the floor. <laughs> Got it. So that, I mean, the YouTube thing is pretty exciting because I feel like I get a lot more exposure there. But for now, share, share, share on Facebook. Okay, so Lime Life Land, you guys, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to be posting about this a little bit later. But um, we do have our pink pom-poms going on sale today. It's like while supplies last. Um, our pink rose pom bombs, which have 15 drops of our one drop wonder in it. Um, they're going to go on sale today. A dollar of each one is going to go towards, um, keep a breast foundation. And the rose ones are what help with redness and inflammation. Um, remember it's all chemical and toxin free. So get on today, order one of your Pink Lime Life Pom Bombs. They're awesome bath bombs, guys. Yeah, I'm going to start a YouTube channel, Aunt Dink. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so we have blue accents here along our blue here. Blue accents along our webbing here. Orange to sort of bring that orange all together there. And then crystals on the outside. And there you go, y'all. Ta-da! Um, I feel like I sort of want to, you know, because I just can't go overboard enough with glitter right I'm gonna take a very fine brush and just go in over that black So that's just going to sort of help it all sparkle. A little bit extra. Dun, dun. So just wet that brush. This is all loose glitter. from my professional face paint palette. So I just have this little tub here and we're just gonna go along that. And then I'm just gonna go in and add some along the black lines in my webbing. Hi y'all. Good morning everybody. Oh, that about fell in my eyeball. Loose glitter in the eyeball, not good. So it's not your typical sugar skull. But there you go. I think that is final product. So we're going to put some lashes on. Super fast, which means I have to put a layer of mascara on underneath. And then I'm going to put my lashes on, and then I have a headpiece that's going to go on as well. Hi, guys. Thanks, 
with Lindsay. So it's really colorful. I mean, you can obviously do these in very red, black, white, and make them look very dark. Um, but I really wanted to use my Dazzle palette and make it all very girly and glittery. So we're just going to add some mascara as a base coat and then we're going to put lashes on the top. I need to remember to get on and order some more Lime Life Mascara. I've had this tube for almost two months and I can feel that it's like on its last leg. But it does last forever and it's the most amazing mascara on the market. Seriously, if you guys haven't tried it, risk free, 30 day money back guarantee, everything Lime Life. So if you have not tried that mascara, I would go on and order one and get one in and go ahead and fall in love with it because you won't be returning it, I swear. It is, I've tried every mascara on the market, very, very expensive mascaras, and this is by far the best I've ever used. All right, so I'm adding some glue onto my lashes. You'll see me staring down here, sorry. So we're just gonna let that get a little bit tacky, and then we're gonna add some lashes on, and then I'm gonna put my headpiece on. Kinda cool. We could have really done some super intense shading underneath all of this and made all of that pretty dark, but I'm gonna excuse you guys from having to watch me add these on. Cause I'm like the world's worst eyelash put her on her when it comes to my own. I'm great at doing other people. All right, so that white glue will dry clear. That wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. Well, what's really bad is when you can't find your other lash. There it is. Okay. So a little bit of glue, just a fine line. If you guys don't like strip lashes, um, there are individual lashes. So when I do my weddings and bachelorette parties and things like that for formal makeup, I use um, tweezers and individual lashes and we place and build. Um, those seem to be a little bit easier sometimes. Um, these are not as easy. Let's get that whole strip in place. Sometimes is an act of Congress for me. Let me go to the other side where I can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. <laughs> Guys, I swear I make the biggest mess with my lashes. If it would just go where it's supposed to, life would be a lot easier. Rhonda, you have hung out. You've been a champ. Thanks, girl. I know that some of this gets super tedious, but... Okay, so there's some lashes, and that white, like I said, will dry clear. Normally, I use black, but my black is almost out because I used a lot of it the other day. All right, so we're going to take this hair down. Da, 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 da. Looking pretty good, huh? All right, not too bad. All right, so I do have a headpiece because, you know, sugar schools all have these headpieces. Dun, dun, dun. And then we'll take a final picture and we'll be done. So not too bad for like super, super early morning makeup. We have our crystals all in place and our glitter all over. Our teeth. Super fun. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, y'all. Have a wonderfully blessed day. Keep me in your prayers, please. I love y'all. Be kind to people. Bye. Love y'all.